Two Brewers Single Malt Whiskey Release 17 and 18. What are these like? Should you get them? Check out the whiskey whistle. Hello my whiskey people, Mark here at Whiskey Whistle on YouTube sharing a little whiskey awesomeness from Winnipeg, the center of North America, bringing you two brewers, release 17 and 18. Now as you know, release 18 was the 2020 Whiskey Whistle Whiskey of the Year for the category of Canadian Single Malt. Let's check out 17 and 18 together. These are both on the market right now for sale. You can get these at a variety of locations in Alberta, possibly BC. I think also Quebec, I think, gets released 17. I'm not sure. Now, the cool thing about 17 is this is malted rye and also barley malt. So that's cool. It's 46% ABV, which is awesome. And a nice golden color. Let's get that poured. I have to thank Two Brewers for always sending me samples because it's a huge help. Now, I know you may think, well, you're not really unbiased then, are you? But no, I'm sorry, I am. I totally am, because I wouldn't even put this on the show if I didn't love it. Anyway, you can hear my children in the background. Tiny little bit left there. So, release 17 with its malted rye. And then, let me just push that. Can I push it? There. And then we have release 18 here, which is right next to the bottle. So 17 and 18. We'll start with 17. We'll go through the nosing, the tasting, the finish. And then 18, the nosing, the tasting, the finish. And we'll give them whiskey, whistle, whiskey scores, and then we'll close up the show, okay? So release 17. First of all, let's look at the color of the whiskey. What do you see there for color, folks? Pretty much straight up golden hue. Maybe, maybe it might even be, might be 22K, 24K. Pretty dark golden color. How about the legs? Okay, so release 17, the legs. Pretty brisk first legs already at the bottom there, but the secondary legs are fairly showy but fairly brisk. I wonder why they're so brisk. It could be the rye. Who knows what the reason is? <laughs> That's my, my daughter, May. Her voice is so loud. Okay, let's get onto the nose. Now, distinct two brewer's nose here. A little bit of orchard fruit, a little bit of citrus fruit, a little bit of malt, a little bit of caramel, some vanilla in there. Reminds me a lot of West Cork, this one, the way the rye is working here. West Cork from Ireland. But beautiful nose, slightly oaky. Um, a little bit, a little bit sawn oak. That citrus, that um, orchard fruit. The vanilla is increasing the more you smell it. Well, let's get on the palate. Cheers, folks. Big cheers to two brewers. Well done with this one. Mmm. Well, it's clear. They need to do more with malted rye. You get some really interesting roasted nuts. Mm-hmm. Roasted hazelnuts. The signature two brewers note, that umame, that savory note, is actually accentuated here by the malted rye, I think. Yes. 
Now, malted rye is a real specialty. What can I call it? A component of, um, of a mash bill. Very different from rye. So I don't really get that minty, apple rye note. But it's sweet and it's a little bit savory. And I think it's adding some extra umame, extra savory notes to the standard Two Brewers distillery character. Hmm. Hmm. The finish is sweet, malty, fruity, vanilla, caramel. It's flawless. It's delicious. This is really, really nice. Add just a tiny little bit of water. See if I can play this flute nicely today. Come on. Wait a minute. I'm, oh, I didn't even get any. <laughs> okay, there's the water. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Eight drops. Will that sit for a minute? Maybe I'll add my balvany little lid there. Okay, let's get into the 18. Neat. Now, as I said in the Whiskey of the Year video, we have something like cola balls and like a vanilla custard. It's really, really beautiful. The, the virgin oak cast, these are virgin oak casks for release 18. Um, I don't think it says here, a single mash aged with new oak. Okay, new oak it says... Now, I don't know what, um, it doesn't actually say any notes here. It says, it says, it's distinctive qualities displayed a cappella, meaning by itself, right? So, cola balls, um, vanilla pudding. Beautiful, beautiful, strong oak forward notes. Again, cola. Slight citrus note. The color for that 18, by the way, pretty dark. Way darker than 18 carat. Maybe beyond copper. A pretty dark color. This would be considered dark even by sherried single malt scotch whiskey circles. Hmm. I think I gotta add more in there. That's way too small a quantity. Hmm. Yeah, beautiful dark color. The legs on this one are amazing. I'll just show those to you. Now, the first legs have already hit the bottom there, but look at the secondary legs that are starting here. Very drizzly. Beautiful. Very, very showy leg display. I love that fresh cola vanilla vanilla cola note mm. sweet delicious lovely it's like a dessert beautiful let's add a little bit of water here
All right, that's about one milliliter added to about 30. And we'll let that sit for a minute. All right, let's go back and have a look at release 17 with water and a bit of time. Now you get a slight little bit of apple coming through with water, but it's more like apple cider vinegar. And then it dissipates and you still get that beautiful vanilla, the delicious fruits. Big, big vanilla here. I think malted rye does almost the same thing as malted barley in just making it really, really delicious and sweet and biscuity, um, dessert-like. Mm. It's really ramped up that umame, like sweet, sweet grilled mushrooms. Maybe with a little bit of balsamic. Hmm. Really nice. I wonder how they would do with a hundred percent malted rye. Have they tried that yet? I think um, the, in Denmark, Stowning has done all malted rye or mostly malted rye with their young rye, it's called. Mm. Delicious. Big, big finish there. Slightly, there's a slight bitter note there in a good way. I'm trying to put my finger on it. But I guess that rye has really shifted things a little bit. You don't get your your apple minty note for your typical rye. This is malted rye, and you're getting more of a medicinal, slightly fruit skinny. That's the best word I can say, a fruit skinny note with that one. How about 18 with water? Pretty much unchanged. Maybe a little bit more lemon coming in here now. Mm-hmm. There's a sweet lime note coming through. So like a lime cola with a bit of lime. Very dry palate. Finish is sweet and dry. Cola balls. Beautiful raw oak. Fresh oak. oak van oaky vanilla. Like I don't know how to describe that, but the oakiness is really coming through here. Hmm. Lovely. All right, well, on to the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for release 17. Oh, I forgot to display the little advert for release 17. Malted rye and specialty brewer's malts plus select barrel finishing conspire to produce a vibrant, spicy dram assertive with a sweet heart. Yes, very sweet. And they say... Cinnamon candy, brown sugar. Um, they have to really... Oh, burnt burnt caramel. Okay, so that's a little bit 
a little bit um, bitter, in fact, burnt sugar, burnt caramel, yes. And they say citric ginger. Interesting. I didn't get any ginger there, but uh, I can understand where they're coming from. Well, let's get on with the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for release 17 from two brewers. Barley malt with a little bit of malted rye. What's that going to be, folks? Well, it's going to be 87 out of 100. You heard it, 87 out of 100 is the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for release 17 from two brewers. Beautiful. Mmm. Delicious. It's really nice to have some very different malted grains. Malted rye here works wonderfully well. And uh, there's just that little bit of astringency that's so different. I can't put my finger on it. Kind of like Shizandra tea, Omija ta in Korean. All right, how about release 18 from two brewers? What is that going to be? Let me put that down. Hmm. Well, the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for release 18 from two brewers. 58% cask strength. That's going to be 91 out of 100. You heard it. 91 out of 100 is the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for two brewers. Release 18. Again, well done, two brewers. And a big thanks to Dave Gardner, who is one of the Alberta reps. Hi, Dave. Thanks a lot. He sent me that bottle. We opened it at the Winnipeg Whiskey Club Winter Gala, uh, November 27th. We had a great time. I think everybody really loved that. There's a little bit left there. So, whoops. <clears throat> so I'll think of a creative way to use that in the future. And if, um, if there's somebody out there that really wants that, you're not from Canada, nobody in Canada, and you want a little bit of two brewers, then leave a comment and I'll choose one person to receive one sample of two brewers, release 18. All right. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you subscribe to Whiskey Whistle by clicking the link right over here and hit the bell so you're notified of the future Whiskey Whistles. Ding, ding. And if you've been enjoying the Whiskey Whistle content for multiple reviews and you're always checking in, why not jump in and support the channel through Patreon and join the Whiskey Whistle crew, patreon.com backslash whiskey whistle. Take care, everybody. Hope to see you for the next one. Goodbye now.